get it. Mm. And three. Oh. <laughs> Good morning guys, I'm about to film something for my sketchbook tour, but at like 10 today I have a meeting for a new job, so that's exciting. And also I'm going to be working on lots of commissions today and lots of art things and editing, so it's going to be a full day again. Oh. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> Color? No, not really. <laughs> hey. Hi. Okay. You've got to have that. Yum for your feet. Yes. All right. the Martian poop one tastes like? Yeah. from Rocket Fizz. Rocket, Rocket Fizz. Rocket Fizz. Try time! We have Martian Poop. <clears throat> we have Key Lime Pie. Butterscotch Beer from like Harry Potter. Non-alcoholic. <laughs> and the final, the grand finale is Ranch Dressing. So. Oh, that was her choice. So here's your cup. Uh -huh. And we, I'm thinking we can get like a little bit each and just enough to have a sip. Yeah, I agree. Um, so which one do you want to try? I'll start with Martian poop, please. Okay, sounds good. I'll have Martian poop so, for 200, Alex. Thank you. So the lady said this is actually pretty good. Yeah. So I'm thinking... I'm less scared of this. Yeah. Um, she said it tastes like berries. It's right. very liquidy poop, so... Alright, so we should have had shot glasses for this. <laughs> One, okay. two, three. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's good. It's like that's good. That's not bad at all. Berry flavor. Yeah, it reminds me even of a... Like you had the raspberry ginger ale, mm -hmm. even that. Yeah, true. Stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we can do butterscotch beer, and this one is supposed to be super sweet. Harry Potter butter beer is what they put. Is that it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Okay, so one, oh, yeah. there two, go. Okay. three. Mm. 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 I could smell the butterscotch as I put my mouth. I could. That made me a lot less afraid because I like butterscotch. Mm. Mm. This is going really, really well. Mm -hmm. Of course, we have the ranch dressing one sitting over there. All right, so some key lime pie. So dessert, dessert. Key lime pie soda. I was excited about this one. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All of this is making me hungry. Now I'm curious about how much this I can eat. Now we're looking at sugar. Okay. Bottoms up. One, two, three. It does taste like human pie. Mm. It's very limey. Mm -hmm. So far, I'm not afraid of any one of these three. <laughs> but I'm very scared of this. Right, guys. Ranch dressing soda. Uh -huh. Ready? <laughs> no, but please. <laughs> I, it's very kind of clear and seems harmless. Oh. I don't really smell anything. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to say, she went back for this. <laughs> She was like, oh, I think we're going to get the ranch dressing. Right, Even ready? after we were warned. No. One, two. Oh, yeah, we got it. Mm, and good. three. Oh. <laughs> oh. I don't think I know what to think. Mm. She said it was a very buttery flavor. I can't deal with the smell. Mm. Mm. I would like some Martian poop, please. Ugh. Um. 
sorry, there is a flavor there that does mm, not, not work for me. Mm. So if you come visit, it'll be here waiting for you. That's what we are being served ranch dressing soda. Mm. It's out of my mouth, but I keep burping the flavor. Ah, uh, I see. Uh, up underneath the Martian poop. And the... <laughs> I tried some butterscotch. Maybe butterscotch will make it go away. Mm. So three out of four is not bad. But there was an entire store of options. I mean, tons and tons of options. Mm -hmm. There's some great ones like barf. And Literally just barf. Bacon. Uh, bacon, bacon soda. Bacon soda. Five dollars. That was good. That was good. <laughs> Guys, look what came. Also, look what came. <laughs> but this also came yesterday, and so I'm going to open it for you guys. And this is what it looks like. I can wrap myself. Ah. Alright, so I'm gonna go put this on. But guys! Alright, so you guys know what you can do. You can go down to that description and find the link to my Threadless shop and go buy yourself one of these shirts. And then, if you do buy one, you should definitely take a picture and share it on Instagram and tag me so I can see it. Tonight we are running on the right track. I know we never got Hey guys, so I have some really exciting news. Um, first, real quick, I didn't really vlog much this past weekend besides like whenever I went out um, because my boyfriend was here and I wanted to spend time with him. I hadn't seen him for like four weeks and now I won't see him for the rest of the summer. So yeah, I hope you guys can understand. Um, but on to the good news. I just got back from a meeting with somebody. I work at this little this company that like takes care of elderly people um, and provides companionship and personal care for them and I actually just recently got the job there and I haven't really done anything yet um, besides like fill out forms and stuff but the guy my boss had the idea to start a little art therapy program because he knows that I'm an artist I shared that with him um, and uh, yeah, so he wants me to be in charge of it and to figure out all the details. And I worked during my high school years, all four years, at a assisted living facility, actually. Um, and it was through my high school. And we just went over there to be, like, companions and do light housework for the people and just form relationships and stuff. I didn't think that would lead me anywhere. I just thought it was a job to get me through high school. But now it led me to this job, which I thought I would be doing much of the same stuff. And... You know, it was it was something. It was a, it was a job to help me make money over the summer, and now it's led to something art related, which is what I wanted to do originally. And so I'm just super excited, and I think it's cool to see this all unfold because I believe God is leading me to this, and He's just made it work out this way for me. So right now, anyways, <laughs> since I haven't really been on Instagram or on social media much this past weekend, I'm going to go on Instagram for like 30 minutes, I'm gonna time myself. 
and be really active and uh, comment and interact with people. I still need to work on building that up. I'm going to go on both my accounts, the body art account and my uh, art, my main art account. 30 minutes of Instagram and then I'll move on to other things. My YouTube video for the sketchbook series, the first one, is going up today in about 30 minutes. So I'm excited. I'm so excited for that to go up because I think people will really like it. And if you're watching this vlog right now, comment below and let me know how you did like that series and I might do more that are similar to that. So I was scrolling through Instagram and I was reminded of this one song that I really like and I'm just gonna do a mini cover because I felt like it. I hate it when dudes try to chase me But I love it when you try to save me Cause I'm just a lady to film a video for Chameleon Pins. They sent me some of their products to do a review video on um, and also something else. But that's gonna have to stay a secret for a little while. Um, but yeah, all day I've been working on videos and stuff like that so I haven't really had much time to do just regular vlogging. Um, but I thought I'd give you a little update and um, also show you my setup here because it's kind of funny and because I don't have like official things so I'm just kind of using all the lamps I own and the mandala on the floor is what was in my dorm room, the pillows are what were in my dorm room um, yeah this is my little makeshift photo shoot backdrop thing alright Glee is playing but I'm not gonna try to go over there and pause it so uh, just thought I'd show you the most dangerous setup I've probably ever created um, this box is just sitting on my bed like that <laughs> And then I have this random thing I got at a Christmas party um, sitting up above and my phone is right here to take the video just like that. And then this is on this box which is being balanced by this on top of this box and this box and this little table thing. I have a light over there and I have a light over here and that's all the markers that fell out of this box on the first try. Alright guys, we have reached the end of another vlog. This one was cut short because I've been working on so many projects this week, um, including, you know, the sketchbook series and a new video that's coming out to, uh, Friday and um, collaboration videos. It's, it's been a crazy week and it's been that crazy because I'm leaving for New York really soon. On Friday I'm going down to Florida to meet with my friend and her aunt and then from there we're all going to take a flight up to New York. Um, so my opportunity to work on things is going to definitely um, be cut short because of that and then I'm going on a trip with my family right after so that's why I'm trying to get everything done really quick this week. So anyways, uh, yeah, that's why I've been so busy and you can look forward to seeing a New York vlog or like a couple New York vlogs. I'm super excited about that. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you did like it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And also, if you're new to my channel and you like what you see and you want to see more videos like these or my art videos, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I really appreciate it and I hope you guys have a marvelous day. And I'll be back with another video tomorrow, so keep an eye out for that. Bye!
Real quick before the end here, guys, and don't forget to stay for bloopers, but before that, I wanted to show you my winners from my past two weekly art challenges on my Patreon account. So the first one is Loki. This contest was all about drawing on photos, and I thought she did a beautiful job. I loved it so much. And the second one here is from Sam, and she actually took a photo, and she traced over the photo, and then she just took the photo out. So I thought that was a really creative approach approach to this um, challenge. And then the second weekly challenge was to draw something related to your favorite city or your hometown city. I left it pretty wide open and Rita took a really nice aesthetic approach on that. Um, and so I loved that picture as well. And you can follow their accounts. I put them on the photos. Um, and if you want to join these weekly art challenges, guys, I have my Patreon linked in the description below. So be sure to check that out. <laughs> oh, I told him to rerun it. No, you already have. No. Please. This is my face. No. Get that Please. out.